Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight doing one that should be recognisable to a lot of people. Brewdog Brew Dead Pony Club. This is classed as a 3.8% Session Pale Ale. I can't read the writing on the back. It's just too damn small. Been at work all day and it is ridiculously small. Why? companies feel the need to put such small writing on so dead pony club just get the review up and running uh -huh. so uh, we'll give it a pour Let's see what it looks like I'm gonna to have to start restocking the beers soon I've just looked at the uh, the mount and the beers and it's it's dwindling Doing two beer reviews a night is certainly uh, swallowing the beers. Not every night that I've done two beer reviews. So there's the colour. Hazy pour. Good carbonation through the centre. Not much lacing around the edge. Good white head. Um, colour. Well, it's hazy, but it's amber. An hazy amber pour. Pops on the nose, but there's a there's a an aroma to it that's um, not quite um, discernible. Definite citrus and hops in the taste. So from ratebeer.com, it's got 3.52 out of 5 rating from 1,449 ratings. Also known as dead. Dead Pony Club. Why would it be also known? That's what its name is. There you go. Um, so, ingredients spring blend, cara and crystal malts, Simcoe, Citra, and HBC hops. This Californian pale ale packs a huge hoppy punch. A 21st century low amplitude, high voltage hop it. Then they talk some rubbish, eh? Some people say slow is good. We believe fast is better. Being shot from a hoppy howitzer beats the hell out of trotting round a submissive paddock. That's why the internal combustion engine got mounted onto two wheels. Screw down the throttle and listen for the dual banshee howl floating back from those molted mufflers. Drink fast, live fast, sleep late and rip it up down empty streets. The display lady is chopped, tuned and ready to roll. Fuel up and hold tight. This little thoroughbred kicks like a mule. Oh, ain't fine. So, yeah. Doesn't really tell you anything about the taste, does it? You know, apart from some spiel. I mean, it's great that they have these uh, little side stories, I suppose. But it's a bit. Just tell us what it is. That's my opinion, anyway. Although I do respect Brewdog for their, for their, you know, for the way they do their business amazing you know they certainly are one of the four the leaders and you know any british company that can go into america or around the world and do good it's good to see especially in these stupid times with this brexit rubbish so 3.5 is the first review average frothy off white head fair lacing mostly diminishing light amber hazy body aroma is grass passion fruit moderate hoppy moderate malt initial flavor is moderately sweet malt and passion fruit final flavor is light, light bitter moderate sweet average duration palate is lively oh good taste so the next one 3.5 out of 5 light amber body abundant fine and persistent foam on the nose hints of tropical fruits hops and peach in the mouth there is also a fruity taste Lightly sweet, but the bitter prefers. But the bitter prefers. Bitter. Oh, this will be bloody fine. Right. So somebody who's just done two reviews gave it the old 4.7 out of 5, which not realistic. Tasty, hop forward, session IPA, solid brew, dog mainstay, good levels of bitterness. Yeah, but that's a high score. So, last one. 3.7, Rel relatively high bitterness, a lot of citrus notes and quite refreshing, with limited aftertaste, only 3.8% alcohol, which you wouldn't guess if you didn't know. Yeah, P. 
plenty of citrus good hops in it as well um, yeah the aftertaste it kind of disappears it kind of goes down initially and then woof gone So, very different to punk IPA. Punk IPA is more of a smack in the face with the hops. This is more subtle. Uh, they're still there, obviously, but um, it certainly is more subtle. Uh, nice beer. Um, in this day and age, where it says it's a session pale ale, I agree. You know, it. it's... It's more like a standard, not a, it's not a standard lot beer, but because it's you know it's a bit more refined than that. But in this day and age, it's an entry level uh, hoppy beer. You know, if you can take this, then you can move on to something more hoppy. A lot of people I know, uh, big beer drinkers, will not touch it, not touch the hops. You know, anything with hops, don't want it, won't touch it. And uh, me, I'll drink everything, but I'm not keen on wheat beers, and, uh, and especially beers like Hogarden and Duvel, you know. Uh, but I am going to buy some to review at some stage, just to see if, if my perceptions have changed doing these reviews, which you yeah, hope it has. So, out of five, um, it was okay, but it was nothing special, in my eyes. Um... Slightly better than average, but not no way near a top beer. Um, so, in my opinion, uh, something around three point seven out of five. No higher than that. It doesn't deserve you know four status. But yeah, yeah. so not bad, but just not not something that floats me boat. Thanks for watching. See you soon.